and we were we were folding, packing, bagging, shipping, customer service, social mm -hmm. media. Like it was too much. So one day, me and Justin opened our emails. It was like a thousand emails in there, and I'm like, like oh, I nah. just realized we hadn't been responding to nobody's emails. Yeah, and I was, like, and there's no <laughs> way I'm about to do this. He's like, I so, can't. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't. Yeah. And my sister was at a job that she hated in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hey, yo, move down here with us for like a month or so and help us get this together. And so that's kind of how I got my sister involved. I'm like, hey, come help that's, us with this. Perfect. I put her on with Tyler Perry. I like, we we always working for Tyler Perry. We always doing support by college. It's like, it was like, because I brought her on kind of early. I kind of missed that on story, but I brought her on a little earlier before mm -hmm. we quit because mm -hmm. they were doing a tour. So she actually stayed with them a little longer because they were on tour and that didn't really require us to be a part of it. So gotcha. she kind of stayed with the tour as, and finished out the tour and we quit and then she came off on with us full time. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, now, when you said hire someone that does everything, you mean come in already knowing how to do things or what, you going to train them to do everything? So really, she didn't know how to do everything the way we wanted it, but she knew how to do, mm -hmm. like, you know, respond to emails. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I don't look for people who are already polished. I look for people who are willing to be polished. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times people think they know it all or, oh, I, I do it this way. No, 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 no. Let me teach you how I want you to be, touch, how I want you to do it. And then you actually accept the guidance that I've given you mm -hmm. and you adjust to make it fit your style and my style so we're both happy. Yeah, yeah and he yeah. asked that because we're technically, our first employee technically starts Monday. Oh, wow. Uh, our VA. Yeah, okay, cool. So, VA's are very important. Oh, I love VA. So, but of course, when you end up starting a business, you like, what am I about to have this person doing all oh day? Oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> That's me all the time. <laughs> like, what are you supposed to be doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Just figure out, do something. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ooh, so that, But it's there. also fun because it's like, all right, well, this is, we just going to have to, you, we got to start. You got to start, so you gotta start yeah. somewhere. You got to you gotta bump heads a little bit. Like, all right, well, I you know I want it this way, but not that way. That, that's just, I'm trying to Because how you. else you going to have it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You'll figure it out. She's taking them emails, the research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. yeah. What, hey, yo, go organize the email from uh, A to B. I don't know A to Z. Bro, <laughs> give me anything. My, my first assistant, I'm like, bro, I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I used to send her the story. I'm like, can you give me some m and Like, I was giving her any work just to keep her busy. Yeah. And then when I figure out what I really wanted and what she was really good at, yeah. then you kind of tailor it, to, and, mm -hmm. it and it works a little better. Yeah, so. but I think that's uh, that's the part of entrepreneurship. You just got to be willing to to figure stuff out together. Like you got because how else are you gonna figure? You gotta you gotta be like, oh well, what are you? You gotta sit down. What are you good at? Actually, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> facts. <laughs> putting out fires. That's all you. That's, that's, it, man. Man. <laughs> that's it. That that's it. All right. So cool. So um, I wanted to ask now, um, e-commerce. Right. This e-commerce boom, especially the one that's going on now, man. is maybe over the last. 10 years you know like yeah. 10 years or so so like now that you were with Justin and everything how did y'all maneuver support black college into this e-commerce brand that it is yeah because it's not so, brick and mortar it's it, so it's e-commerce so how did well, that probably never be yeah so how did that kind of like play yeah. yeah into it i mean and you were still out of your apartment at this point yeah, still, yeah, yeah yeah i was yeah. still out of my apartment um once it got to too much like where every time i stepped out of my room Mm -hmm. I was like stepping on clothes. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. It got ridiculous, and so one of my friends that I actually met at uh, this place called the Gathering Spot, the the, mm -hmm. the uh, membership club, the Soho House of so, yes, yeah, the yeah, Black yeah. Soho House of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a guy sitting beside me one day at the bar, and he was like, "Yeah, bro, I seen your brand. Da da da. I got a brand. You know, I'm just like, all right, cool. You know." Everybody always got a brand, and they want to talk to me about it. And so <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool, man. I, it sound bad, but, like, trust me. Bro. Yeah, no, once you hear it a thousand now, times. And now it's even worse. Oh, like, yo, I know. Yeah, that was yeah, when yeah. no one knew me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, just listening. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, I got this warehouse space, man. You should come check it out, man. It's me and this other guy, but it's a lot of space. So I actually went to check it out, and I was like, oh, this is perfect. I, yeah. I can get out of my house. So that was our first warehouse space. Nice. Um, it was an office and, like, extra space that we all share and it wasn't it wasn't too much a month nah okay, oh my cool. gosh we we're probably paying like two thousand okay so that's bad yeah yeah, yeah. Like it was nothing yeah. yeah yeah and so um we did the math and made sure we could oh afford. oh no for sure for sure yeah, <laughs> because yeah. we wasn't we wasn't sure if we could afford it, honestly yeah. yeah um and so then the, the the reason our business really took off was because all of us were working in what we do best our zone of genius mm -hmm. so justin is like data driven analytical mm -hmm. facebook ads back end 
I'm more like creative influencer marketing design, mm -hmm. um, social media. Mm -hmm. My sister is more like technical as far as organization and managing mm -hmm. people and mm -hmm. things of that yeah. nature. And you need you need that. Yeah. 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 That's we yeah. really needed that. Yeah, that's so <laughs> once that happened, it was kind of like man. We started just like I would say Justin be like, oh man, yeah, I figured out how to run ads, and we making this amount on every two dollars we spend. I'm like, okay, bet. And then Sierra's like, yeah, I just hired a VA to do this and this and this. And I'm doing this, so I'm like, all right, bet. And then I'm getting influences. And I'm doing mm -hmm. all. so mm -hmm. it just started going crazy. And meanwhile, while we were doing that online, and y'all was modeling. At yeah, the time. yeah, we was modeling <laughs> every shoot. Yeah, man, yeah. If you go all the way to the bottom, you see us every shoot. Every <laughs> that's shoot, how you got to do then it. Eventually, we got people who were actually like just interested, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to come. And I didn't care if he was ugly, big, small. I'm like, come on, yeah, like, yeah. And so, we, we, we ended up getting like that, but then you know, we started having customers that was wearing stuff. Mm -hmm. So, now we're like, well, let's just use their pictures, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, that's how the community kind of got built, like mm -hmm. on our page now. Mm -hmm. We'll post customers. And they happy because we got a lot of followers, but we've been doing that for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And right. it makes people want to buy because they have a chance to be featured. And, you know, everybody yeah. want to feel like it, they're important. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so that really helped us. Um, and then as a unit, because we were all working on our zone of genius, it started over time, you know, the right things started happening. And, yeah. You know, we started growing a company. So work in your zone of genius. So if sure. you're on a team, like, just figure out, like, hey, what are you passionate about in this business? Or what do you, yeah. what do you find that you're good at? Because... That's going to help everything much more. It's going to help. And the thing is this, like, I, I like to compare it to basketball. Like, a lot of people don't understand a team dynamic and, like, why the Warriors won so many times. Mm -hmm. Like, you got Steph Curry, you know he's going to put up 20, yeah. 30 shots. You know, Just easy. He's going to shoot. Yeah. He's going to control the game. Klay Thompson is going to get a bucket whenever it's needed. Mm -hmm. He's going to guard the other team's best player. Mm -hmm. Draymond Green is going to guard the other team's big, yeah. and he's going to pass the ball and set dirty really good work. screens. Yeah, dirty work. Yeah, right? Yeah. And then you got people like Andrew Bogut at the time mm -hmm. who would step out and hit a three random mm -hmm. and hit a lot of rebounds. Mm -hmm. And you got people coming off the bench. And so they the team worked so well together because everybody knew and understood their role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Lakers now, you see it's why do you have Chaos. LeBron, Melo, Westbrook, and AD and you ain't winning? Yeah, because that don't even make sense. People don't understand their role. Yeah. And it's not that you don't have the talent or the ability to win. It's just that together as a unit, it's not working out. And yeah. so yeah. when we all started working in our zone of genius and we were all doing what we were good at and understood mm -hmm. the role as the team, mm -hmm. then that's when we really started winning. Yeah, it's so the same thing. It's like in, in superhero movies. Thanos was whooping that ass. The niggas was like, all right, hold on. Everybody sure calm down. We got to we gotta figure something <laughs> out. <laughs> he, he, they, they had to call them folks out. <laughs> well, when them, when them portals started oh, opening yeah, out, yeah. Oh, it's lit. <laughs> it got crazy. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, that's 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 great. So I wanted to ask, um, how important was the vision of the company? Because you said 2018 is when y'all really started back up. So at what point did y'all start working on like, all right, we see this going here? Was it before 2018, or did you start it once you kind of started getting stuff like rolling? Like, because yeah. you gotta have, uh, you gotta have, a, you gotta see where you're going. Yeah. You know, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So. Like, you or know, or kind of see where you're going at you least. You know yeah. funny? Because I remember when me and Jesse used to have a conversation and say, yo, I can't wait till we get this to 5000 a month. Yeah. I remember that conversation. Like We was like, yo, we can get it to 5000 We got to sell this amount of T-shirts. And like that was the goal. Yeah. And that you was know, so. You know why this is inspiring? Because yeah. everything you say. It, that's what y'all doing. We, we, we said say it. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking yeah. about it by word. Yeah. Yeah, y'all <laughs> are on the right track. And, so, and that's yeah. why I was like, see, it's, it's, it's right there. On the right <laughs> track, <bro. laughs> I promise you. like, And, and the thing is like. I, if you ask me, like, because people always be like, where do you see yourself in five years? I get that question all the time, yeah, 10 yeah. years, whatever. And I said, bro, five years ago, support by colleges was not existing. Yeah. That's, I mm -hmm. can't even, I was at AT&T five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Selling yeah. the hell out of some phones. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Yeah, I you really know, I don't. don't know, I can't yeah. give you the answer because the sky is the limit. Yeah. And yeah. now that I know what I'm doing, it's like, it's lit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Last year, two years ago, we never had talked to the NBA. We was not in 2K. We didn't have a bunch of influence. Like, it's so much stuff that could happen even in a year, yeah. even in six months yeah. that, you know, I think it's less about the long-term vision, but more about what I'm willing to do to reach goals that I have short-term. Mm -hmm. And so I reached a bunch of short-term goals, but when you reach so many short-term goals, it turns into a bigger picture. 